Welcome, everybody, to my first official podcast. I'm so excited to be speaking with you here. I've been preparing for this moment for a couple of months now, slowly building together the equipment, the microphone, the camera, learning how to use this open broadcasting software so I can quickly switch between uh, speaking with you, showing you YouTube videos, uh, sharing actual live demos with ChatGPT, doing it all live because I don't have time for edits. This has got to be like a one-shot prompt. As this is my first one, you can expect there to be lots of mistakes, <laughs> but it should be good. It should be good. Entrepreneurs, we are so busy. We don't have time to watch all these videos. Now, me, Mike Schwartz, CEO of MyZone AI, I spend two to three hours a day researching AI, watching all the latest YouTube videos, reading through the white papers, testing all the tools. I spend the rest of my time coaching CEOs, leadership teams, entrepreneurs, and we call them the AI champions, people within organizations that are really excited about AI. I work with them all day long. It's been probably 14 hours a day for the last three years of just AI, AI, AI. And I want to be able to share with you some of those things that I discover. I'm going to be recording these quick little five to 10 minute videos daily, posting them in my school community, hopefully soon getting a YouTube channel, getting back on the social media. So this is the first one. And it, why am I talking today? It is a big day in the world of AI. ChatGPT announced a whole bunch of new features. And I'm going to share with you a short video on the connectors for business and the impact that it has on business. So check this out. Hey everybody, thanks for joining today. I'm Nate and I lead the chat for ChatGPT for Business product team. Now today's live stream is all about how we help bring your organization's unique work context directly into ChatGPT. And so the way that we do that is we enable you to connect your internal knowledge sources to ChatGPT uh, so that you can find the most relevant information at the right moment. We also respect all of the existing user permissions inside of your organization, and we keep uh, your data private and secure within the team and enterprise workspaces. So there are two experiences that we're going to walk through to show how we bring this context in. The first is connectors to your internal data uh, to power deep research and also just everyday queries with ChatGPT. And the second is record mode where we can capture and help you make better use of all the information that is spoken in meetings, but isn't necessarily written down. And so I can. Okay, so let's jump in and show you how it works. So first of all, this is only available on the Teams plan or Enterprise plans, not yet available on the Plus or Business plan. So if you're not yet on Teams, I highly recommend you go there. Uh, there's lots of videos online talking about the benefits of the Teams plans. I think it's totally worth it. Now, within a Teams plan, if you go to manage your workspace up until today, you would only have access under connectors. You would only have access to Google Drive. But today they released a whole bunch of additional connectors, Box, Dropbox, GitHub, Gmail. This was huge. Being able to analyze your emails. Beautiful. HubSpot, CRMs, Microsoft. Now, a lot of these things before were only accessible via the enterprise plan. But today it is available to all of you on Teams. Now, if you don't see a connector there that you were hoping for, fear not, because under My Connectors, you can click Create a New Connector, and then you can connect to an MCP uh, server. Or any, basically, what it is, is like an easy way to connect to third-party data sources via APIs. So not something that you probably want to do if you're non-technical like me, but give it to one of your techies and they can sort this out pretty fast. So this could allow you to connect to your limitless little AI pendants, your Asana, your Slack, all those other things. So incredibly powerful. But why is it important to centralize and connect all these data sources? I mean, there are so many different businesses that were going after this business model. And I think a lot of them are going to be reconsidering their business plan as of today. So some of those companies that we know are companies like, you know, Dashworks AI. They would connect to all your data sources, centralize that, and then allow you to uh, chat with that. Uh, we've got Dashworks, Glean, Guru, and even MyZone. We were <laughs> building this tool because we realized it was quite easy for us to build this software using agentic tools like N8N or make.com. We would just connect to all these data sources for our clients. We're going to package it up and sell that as a service through MyZone AI. Well, uh, plans change quickly in, in the world of AI. That business model is already obsolete. Our CTO here, Andre, just posted today, uh, OpenAI just killed this project that we've been working on here for a couple of months. So, but that's good news for the world. 
Uh, I think they're also going to potentially kill a bunch of other startups in the space, the, the transcription services like the Fireflies, the Otter AI with their new record function. So crazy stuff. So how does it work? Um, let me show you. So yeah, once you've made all your, your data connections, you just use it and you can specify specifically the data connections that you want to use or or not so for example if you're using deep research which is a very powerful tool you should all be using before deep research would only work when you were researching third-party uh, data sources but now you can connect to your own crm you can connect to your google drive analyze all of your financial records uh, things like that so be incredibly powerful. They also have this built in analytics tool that as it grabs all that data, say you're analyzing your financial history for the last 10 years through your accounting software or through some spreadsheets, it will chart and graph and present that for you visually as well, which I think is super powerful. So check that out. Also, they have a new record feature, which I'll share here on the video, which I think like the basic version version one right now is only available on Mac desktop app you hit the record button it will provide transcriptions and summaries add it to your entire knowledge base and make that accessible to yourself for searching in the future say what was that conversation i had with that client two weeks ago it'll all be there now we've already built some tools that automated this in the past where we would use pendants or zoom and we would take those transcriptions push them to slack channels and push them to Google Drive and have them accessible via Google Drive. But now for those of you that weren't setting up these automated workflows, it's super easy. Just hit that record button and, and ChatGPT will build up that knowledge base for you automatically. So I'm going to show you a quick video of that in action here. Um, <laughs> all right. So having the ability to get answers across all your documents and data sources is a huge win. Um, but we also know that that's just really half the story, right? A lot of the important decisions and context from mm -hmm. our work actually happens in the conversations that we have with our teammates. Absolutely. And so that's why we're introducing ChatGPT record mode. It's a way for us to help make sure that your notes are complete, that they're not mm -hmm. scattered. You're also not having to um, multitask during a meeting where you're really trying to engage yeah. and yeah. you're having to take notes at the same time. So with record mode, what we're introducing is on our Mac OS desktop app, you will see a uh, circle icon uh, button next to all of the other voice options. And with just clicking on this button, you will get a recording. So right now, ChatGPT is recording all of our audio. And on the back end, it's transcribing that audio. And it's going to generate a really useful summary for right. me afterward. So for now, we're not going to record this session. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this out. Um, but let's look at you know AGI Corp's Q3 pounce plan. Mm -hmm. um, so the team last week was doing a uh, brainstorming session around personality aware translation. Mm -hmm. And they were really talking through like the different options that they had. And they recorded that session. So you can see that there is a structured meeting output here. And if you navigate down the page, what you'll see is that there are key points, action items, and most importantly, they're always citing the transcript. Mm -hmm. So if, I'm, if I have more questions about, hey, the energy trait, that's what we're going to focus our personality translation on. What, what was spoken about that? Like, what should I know about that? It's going to go highlight that section exactly in the transcript. So you always have that full, yeah. full context. These time steps are awesome. It makes it really easy to figure yeah. out where exactly the things were said. Exactly. Like we said, we use this every single day inside of the, the teams, and it's uh, being able to, to kind of go from the summary to the transcript is really, really powerful. So if I were in a meeting and I were going to share something back with Sandra and she didn't have full context, she's able to get the, the kind of TLDR in the summary, but then also go to the individual details when she needs to. Yep, exactly. Okay, and they also announced some new features for their enterprise plan, which will very soon be available for the team's plan. This is where you can purchase additional credits and get access to uh, future services, which they've hinted at are coming soon. So they've talked about models that will be anywhere from $2,000 per month to $20,000 per month that will be used predominantly by scientists, researchers that are doing, you know, trying to... Uh, cure diseases and things like that. Well, without having to upgrade to those models, you can just purchase credits for a specific prompt or query or access to a model for that one use case. So they're hinting at these uh, features coming soon. That was very cool. Some other stuff that's going on in the world of AI right now, we've been doing a lot of vibe coding using tools like Replit and Cursor AI. Claude 4 came out about a week ago and it is crushing it. Software developers are absolutely loving it. Claude 4 is the most popular model that software developers are using for agentic development. This means like coding 
without typing, just talking to the models, and it took a huge step forward. So uh, we've been building the, the MyZone AI readiness assessment using Claude 4. This is an example of the, the software that we're, we're building, and we can now build it two to three times faster than before. Um, it's, it's just incredible. So if you're a software developer, you probably already know about this. If you're playing around with, with Vibe coding, um, Replit just got an upgrade now to Claude 4. It is so much faster. And just we built this whole software application in a very short period of time without touching any of the code. Uh, so very, very powerful. Another thing that, that's going on this week that, uh, well, for us, this is about a week old, old in the world of AI, is Google announced VO3, an incredible video um, AI tool just from prompts. You can create video. So we got access to it today through the Google Ultra plan. In Canada, we're paying 170 per month for the first three months, and then it's 350 per month thereafter. And you can create some pretty, like, crazy <laughs> videos you cannot tell the difference between what is fake and what is real i'm going to show you a couple of little examples here uh, from youtube so just with text prompts you can create all of this crazy stuff creating commercials for all of our clients and advertisements so the new vo3 model is out and it's been absolutely blowing my mind it's really good it has music added it has voices added it has sound effects added whatever audio you want to add to your video it does it. it does in the prompt. You just type in what you want it to say. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. All right, here's version two. Wow, we got some air there. The motion of the duck is just phenomenal. You can. So make sure you've checked out Cloud4, Replit, VO3. Crazy week with AI. Hope you guys are having lots of fun, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.